guys, it's Chris Everingham and today we're going to be talking about basic stretches that you can do at home so you can start to be healthy. Stretches is one of the pillars of a healthy body and it helps you to keep flexible. Today we're going to be talking about the benefits of stretching and how to perform some key stretches so you can start straight away. Remember if you like this video, like, comment and share, we'd love to hear from you. And if you want, please check out my website chriseveringham.com for more information on health and fitness. Okay guys, so there's four main reasons why stretching is so important. The first reason is it helps the muscle and the fascia stretch into a more favorable length and tension to take on the activities. Okay, so number two, when we hold the stretch for a little bit longer, it's gonna help increase the range of motion and our posture in our bodies. Okay, so number three, mentally it helps us to switch over from our activity into the next activity of the day. So if you've just finished training, it helps you to switch back into the next phase of your day where you're doing your normal daily activities. Number four, it helps to increase blood flow before training into the muscles. And then after training, it helps to return blood to the rest of the body out of those muscles. Okay, so there's a few different types of stretches out there. There's static stretches, dynamic stretches, there's PNF stretches or proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, say that twice, and then there's yoga stretches as well. Today we're just going to be focusing on static and dynamic stretches just to get us started. Before we commence training, remember to see your GP, your physiologist, your personal trainer, your physiotherapist, see one of those guys, ask them about the stretch that you're about to do, make sure it's relevant for you, and then you can get into it. Before you start any of these stretches, remember to do some light cardio so you've got some blood flow happening, you're a little bit warm, and that way your stretches are gonna be a little bit easier and you're gonna get more out of them. Okay, so we're gonna look at some common areas to stretch. So there's a lot of stretches you can do, you don't have to do all of them. Focus on the ones that are tight in you in particular and then work from there. So we're gonna look at some calf stretches today, some hip flexor and quad stretches, hamstrings, some glute stretches, as well as some lateral stretches and some pec minor stretches. And then we might finish off with some spinal rotations as well to help you loosen up that spine. Okay. Ideally guys, you wanna be stretching for at least three to four times a week. Obviously the more you do it, the better it's gonna be for you. If you can, try and dedicate a whole session per week to stretching, just purely stretching and following some of these basic drills. It's gonna make a huge difference to you whether you're an elite athlete or just a weekend warrior. For static stretching, you want to try and hold the exercise for about 20 to 30 seconds and that's going to be performed after your workout. That's going to help improve your range of motion and your posture. For dynamic stretching, that's going to be before the exercise. You want to try and do that for about 8 to 10 seconds maximum and then move on to your next body part. Okay guys, I'm going to show you the hip flexor stretch first, I'll show you the static stretch first and then I'll show you the dynamic stretch second. So first up, bring those hips forward facing this way and then what we want to do is we want to lean into it. This is going to stretch down the front here and uh, if you want to extend the stretch just bring the arms up and go forward just that little bit further. That's going to come up into what you call iliopsoas and into the abs as well. So really great stretch. If you want to make this more dynamic, extend the leg out just a little bit further. We're going to go into it dynamic hamstring and then a dynamic hip flexor. Okay guys, we're going to do a hamstring stretch now. I'm going to show you the static stretch first and then we'll go into the dynamic stretch second. So just have a lie down on the mat, bring the leg up, try and get it as close as you can to 90 degrees and then extend up through the leg. If you can, try and reach up as far as you can and that's going to be a nice static stretch. To make this dynamic, simply come back down here and extend through the leg, trying to keep it at 90 degrees. So a really good stretch for the hamstring. Okay, so we're going to stretch our laterals now. We're going to straighten this leg first, our right leg, and then we're going to bend this one, then we're going to reach over to the side. This is really good for triceps, rear shoulder, and lats, as well as our abductors here. And then on the other side, let's reach over. We can use this hand to support our upper body. 
That is a static stretch for our laterals. If you want to do it dynamic, just reach over and gradually increase that range of motion. And then go to the other side. Okay, so the next stretch I'm going to show you is the quad stretch, which is the front of the leg. Really simple, all you need to do is reach up, grab the leg, and then keep yourself nice and balanced. If you want to, put your hand down and support, or you can hold onto a chair, or a wall, or whatever. Hold this stretch here for the static, and then we'll move into the dynamic in a moment. So a dynamic stretch, you're just doing the same thing, but we're just going to move into it, and then stretch, keep your knees nice and close together as possible, and then release. And the same again, we're going to stretch it out, gradually increasing the tension, and then release it out. Okay, so now we're going to do a spinal rotation. We're going to break it up into two segments. The first is going to be a disassociation at the upper body. So it's going to be rotating through the hips from the upper trunk only. And then the second one is integrating the whole rotation with the whole body, which is going to include the legs. So just like this. So start off, just get your hips sunk down a little bit. Bring your hands onto your shoulders and then bring those shoulders all the way around. Just like that. If you want, you can use your head to rotate as well. The second motion you want to do is bring the rotation but use the legs as well. So we're rotating with the spine and the hips and the upper body all working together. Vary up your rotation, so go lower and then go higher as well. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a calf stretch. Simply find a wall somewhere, put your foot up against it, and then lean into it from the hips. Try and keep that leg straight so you can focus on the calf region. If you want to make this more dynamic, just go into it, slowly bounce into it, and then relax. And then slowly bounce into it, and relax. Okay, so the last stretch we're going to do is a chest stretch. Find yourself a wall, Put your hand and elbow up on there. Make sure it's at 90 degrees to your body. And then what we're going to do is just twist away slightly and hold. That will be your nice static stretch for your chest. If you want to make this dynamic, just rotate out a little bit. Feel the stretch and then relax. Rotate out, feel the stretch and then relax. So there you have it guys, some basic stretching principles for you to follow, some benefits on how to stretch, when to stretch, how often to stretch, how to do the stretch, did I say how to do the stretch? Doesn't matter, so all those things, we've covered them today. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it. Just remember if you enjoy the video, like, comment and share, we'd love to hear from you. And until next time, let's make the world better. Be sure to catch my other videos here on YouTube because I'm sharing the best strategies to maximize your metabolism.